Emperor. What's the expression? It's not worth the dirt on my shoe. Koto Khan has always bargained with you fairly, you know. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. Upgraded weapons, my intel, and poof. The long outworld civil war. Done. Might be nice to kick back a bit, eh? You know Melina's location. And a whole rebel army. It's gotta be worth at least... 50. I must attack her. Immediately. End this conflict. As you say, it drains us. Right. Do we have a deal? What is it, Devora? The Emperor should not be concerned. Accident ahead. This one will clear it. Make way for Kotal Khan! Move! this day. You will atone for your descent, Melina. Your blood will make right. Up the stair path. To the fire's edge. A mere cub, grown to be a jaguar. The Quatan jungle, with at least two divisions of Tarkatans. They're on the move constantly to avoid detection. That's not far. Maybe 200 kilometers. You know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Blade out. You have new information? From Earthrealm? Kano talked. Gave us the details on Melina's location. She has the amulet, but she's got a lot of protection. We will strike immediately. Perhaps a two-pronged approach. The army will engage Melina, distract her, while this one retrieves the amulet. Not alone. This one's coming with. Still is of the essence. Did you not hear me? You may assist in the main strike. Devora, we will grant their request. And I will finally be rid of Melina. This one understands your logic, but does not reach the same conclusion. Like others, this one is not pleased with Melina as Khan, but it is not clear your crew will succeed. That is why I invited our Zaterran friend. Listen, and join us. I know things about Melina. Her troubled rule will fall in the telling, and pave the way for Quatal. What would you know that- <laughs> There they are. Three of your fellow counselors, whispering like handmaidens. About what, I wonder? If only 
you would hear our counsel. As war with Netherrealm looms, I have urged detente with Earthrealm. And I've told you I would sooner die than treat with my father's murderers! You refuse practical solutions to credible threats. You endanger the realm. And sedition does not? Speak your last before I have your tongue. You are not Shao Kahn's true heir. She is a construct formed in Shang Tsung's flesh pits. I saw this. Your best claim to the throne is moot. How dare you! I succeed Shao Kahn by his decree! Succeed him you have, but Outworld demands new leadership. From you, Arshtek fool. Kill him! <laughs> this one serves Nelina no longer! <laughs> ah! You will defend your Empress! Our creator Shao Kahn is dead. We will serve whom we choose. Take her away. We would serve the new ruler of Outworld. Then you serve Kotal Khan. Here to surrender, traitor? You speak of treason. This one knows you desire the throne. Why serve Melina? I advise her. Stealing the amulet was my genius. It kills her a bit each time she uses it. As both sides diminish, you fill the void. Exactly my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving without your friend, Devora? Your people believe we avoided your island out of respect for your solitary nature. We just didn't like you. The Kaitin do prefer solitude, which I will achieve momentarily. Pathetic creature! Fly back to your island. Your life is forfeit. Round one, fight! Children. Devora, 
wins. Now two Edenians will die. I know you said you weren't friends, but you're not killing them. Head's fine, by the way. Very well. Let us go. Step aside. That is really disturbing. Devora. This one knew you would not stray far from the amulet. You took my throne. Now you wish to steal my means of reclaiming it? Neither was meant for you. Who are you to say? I will take something of yours. Your life! is displeased by your presence. Then you'll be happy I'm ending your life. It is you who dies today, Melina. Round one, fight. <laughs> will enjoy your death. Enough of your prattle. Finish me, that I may join my father. You do not deserve death by an emperor's hand. Instead, I give the honor to my worthy first minister. Rebellion is over. Well, thanks for that. I know I'll never eat again. With your leave, we're gonna head back to Earthrealm. Put the amulet back where it belongs. <gasps> the hell are you doing? Earthrealm cannot be trusted to protect the amulet. It will remain with me. The Reiko Accords require the that Accords you- The Accords no longer concern me. But you may prove useful when Raiden comes for this. This one deceived them. The amulet is in Kotokan's possession. You can retrieve it. He trusts no one else to transport it. Keeping you close to the Outworld throne these many years has proven most fortuitous, Devora. They never suspected one of their own to be a disciple of our lord. This one lives to serve Shilok. You have done well. Now bring it to me. Without delay, Anki.
Is there a problem? Two problems. to get why my dad retired. We have to find Devora. Get the amulet. Let's go. We won't be out long. Devora. And the Earth Roamers? She stole the amulet, then helped them escape. She betrayed us to the Thunder God. You wound me, Devora. Prepare the legions. We go to Earthrealm. We will wrest back the amulet from that devil Raiden. Scorpion, stop! One greets Lord Shinnok. Quan Chi chose his servants well. He was wise to restore me in Earthrealm, behind their defenses. Quan Chi deceived them, allowed himself to be captured. He knew they would bring him here. A pity he did not live to see his work completed. <sighs> there will be no surprises from you, Mr. Cage. Bring him. Praise be to Lord Shinnok. Let us be on our way. There is an Earthrealm force in Netherrealm. I am aware. They will be neutralized.
They taste your flesh, burrow deep. Inside you, they will grow all your innards. By the gods. Dad! Father and daughter, will they taste the same? Devorah's ultimate plan was not to destroy Shinnok, but to enslave him. She implanted larvae, her young, in his body to gestate. Having consumed the godlike power of their immortal host, Devorah's offspring were unlike any Kaitin ever born. As they matured, they spread like locusts throughout the realms. Her army of Kaitin super drones brought glory to Devorah, their beloved queen, and destruction to all. on my throne. You tried merging Earthrealm into Outworld. The Elder Gods intervened, and Raiden killed you. That's when Melina became Khan. After this one killed your daughter, Kotal claimed the throne. You killed Melina? If this is true, you will die! is under my protection, Shao Kahn. As are you. I am Kronika. The legends are true? I am displeased with how history has unfolded. So you broke time? I stopped time. I enlist all those who disdain the current course of history. By merging past and present, we may draw upon allies from both eras. How will fighting your battles benefit me? I offer a greater empire in the new era, Shao Kahn. Raiden will not exist to thwart you. You can wipe Raiden from history? It is an immense task, requiring great power and effort. My hourglass requires protection while I work. Will your Outworld armies defend it? They shall. There are fresh tracks leading into the Hive. If Shao Kahn's in there, he'll be difficult to find. The tunnels are endless. Set fire to them. If he's hidden, he will be smoked out. Kotal, we don't know who else is in there. Betrayal, Devora. This one acts only for the hive survival.
Fatality. Devora wins. Flawless victory. Chronica, Charon. Now you must suffer. I am a mortal, Devora. You cannot kill me. This one needs only render you unfit to bury Chronica's enemies. <laughs> First Shinnok, now Chronica. You fight for lost causes. This one ensures the Hive's survival. You will not save the Shirai Ryu. Come no closer. The Hive wish to taste you. That wish will remain unfulfilled. is the humanoid word for the chitin and our fellow insectoids. But with the hourglass, this one can review history and give lie to that myth. Humanoids live to kill. Without a common enemy to fight, they divide, destroy each other. Insectoids live to survive. No conflicts divide us. We build upon each other. Kin does not kill kin. So tell this one. Who are the vermin? Time for this one to write a more just history. One in which pesky humanoids finally take the places they deserve. Scrambling beneath our feet. Devora 